Hey y'all, welcome back to Dots and Beyond. My name is Beth. Today we are going to do a plan with me for week 43, which is in October of 2023. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is last week. I added a few bits and bobs here and there throughout the week. Not a whole lot though, just a few quotes and some things that I did. I still don't love the way the work situation is coming about because it tends to leave a lot of open space. I'm still going to delineate my work hours in this new week. I'm going to change a couple of other things as well. We're going to add some washi tape to kind of fill some space. And then we'll see how I feel about it after that. I still have some of these stickers that I had made for the beginning of the month. They are starting to run out. Whether they'll make it all the way through October is to be determined. I didn't really set out to make a full sticker kit for the month. Wasn't thinking about that. I've just been using them as we go along. And again, like I said, I do have some washi tape, so we are going to start with that. In previous weeks, I've put a little icon of something that might be happening on that day, whether it is a moon phase or whether it is the day that a video goes up. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for that and put some washi tape just below it. And I think I'm going to do this very thin one. I don't think I want a really chunky one there. I just kind of picked at random. These wash tapes all come from different things. I'm not even sure what all sets they come from. If I can remember or find them, I will link them down below. These, I believe, came off of some sort of celestial set that was just on Amazon to be determined. But let's go ahead and get some of this down. I had a really hard time finding the end of that one. Let's see. I think I want two dot grid spaces underneath my date. We'll go ahead and start there. And when it came to picking the washi tape, I really just, I have this drawer full of washi tape and I just kind of opened it and went, does any of this have my little fall witchy vibe? And that's <laughs> a determination. There was no scientific method there at all. All right, and there are some other spaces that I want to do this on. So I'm going to put a, another strip above where my work hours are. And I think I'm going to use these stars, maybe. How thick is this? Yeah, that's a little too thick. I'll use these thin stars. Or I could use the same one. I'm going to use the same one. And my work start time typically is eight o'clock in the morning. You know, typical eight to five with an hour lunch. I remember right. Yeah, I did not want that one to run across Saturday and Sunday. It's okay for the top one to do that, but not this other one. So we are going to pull this off. I can get a hold of it and bring it back to right here. And then I guess while we're on a roll with that same one, unless I want to do something just a little different. Oh, this one seems a little fat. Yeah, that one's going to be a little too fat. We'll go ahead and go back to this one. We will mark the end of my work day as well. And in my last plan with me, I mentioned that I kind of would like to find a way to block off, to block off my commute time just so I know where it's at. And by doing this with the thin washi tape, I am getting in that 30 minute section. So this is sort of my commute time in the morning. If it takes me 30 minutes, it doesn't always take me 30 minutes. And my commute time at the end of the day, because those fit perfectly in that 30 minute slot. Let's see, I wanted to do another one near the bottom. Maybe this is where I will use this one if I have enough room. Maybe I'll just use it on the bottom bottom just to liven up that space a little. It's not a space that I like to write in either because it's so close to the bottom of the book. I find that difficult. I'm wishing I had taken that one all the way to the edge. So we're just gonna, we're not gonna peel up and waste the other one. We're just, <laughs> just gonna stick. It's a little bit going the other direction. It'll be a little different, but that is 
okay all the way to this edge. And we have a little bit more of a structure. Okay, so if these are my working hours, I do need to put in any meetings and things that I have. And my week is light on meetings. It is not light on work, but it is very, very light on meetings, which is great because that means I can get some hardcore projects done that I need to do. So let me figure out. I still want to mark when my lunch hour is, but I don't want to write lunch, 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 lunch. And like nobody has scheduled a meeting over the lunch hour like they did last week. So I can just schedule in that noon hour. Also going to put my eraser under here just to help brace it. And starting last week, I blocked my work calendar from 4.30 to 5. I don't want anybody to put anything there. And that is so that I can do a full blown reset of my day. That's when I can look over my to-do lists, which again, everything for work, I keep in the Microsoft ecosystem. I can look over my to-do lists. I can move things to the next day. I still very much use like a, a bullet journaling sort of method even in that digital sphere um, and try to get my email situated because during the month of September when I had back-to-back -back events my email got so out of control and just the frustration and anxiety you have when you have hundreds of emails that haven't been sorted you probably dealt with them they had all pretty much been dealt with but I needed to get them put in places for reference or future documentation if anybody asks if I did X or if I answered their email for this or those sorts of things. I have it on the half hour, but even the hour below it is, or the half hour below it is my lunch period. And then that reset time. And I really think I only need 30 minutes. I started experimenting with it on Tuesday or Wednesday. And I did it like three days and I didn't do it two days. Again, it's one of those new habits that I'm going to try to build into my work routine. And then other meetings on 9 o'clock on Wednesday? Question mark? Yes, it's always Wednesday. I have a staff meeting. There are a lot of us. Talking is involved. And so it typically runs from 9 till at least 10. Sometimes longer. We try to keep it at 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and block that off. This is not gonna stay this empty. And what I will do Monday morning when I get to the office is try to find that project time and go ahead and block it off on my work calendar. And let me just say, fall has finally come to Arkansas. Today it is like 67 degrees and I'm astonished. Actually feels like fall. We had two days this week that were overcast and cloudy. And here we're like, oh, it must be raining. No, there was no rain. There was no rain in the forecast. It was the most sort of New England cloudy fall days Arkansas has had in years. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time we had those kind of days. So I'm feeling the fall vibes. I've got orange candle out. I have a mug that I have stolen from Kenny, my son. Uh, Y'all no, I've mentioned before, if you've been around for a little bit, that the fox is his favorite animal. And I bought him this mug for Christmas one year that says, oh, for fox sake, because I think it's hysterical. It kind of looks like him too. I stole his mug to go with my orange candle today. And we're just having some good. There's like, this is a cinnamon tea. Just, I've got my fall vibes on, even though it's been hot. Those of you in New England who started having fall on like September 1st, we don't do that here. It takes us until the middle of October before it even begins to feel like fall. And it may not stay. It might get warmer again. And I just, whatever. Okay, and back to this. What am I going to put up here? I need my little stencil. On Wednesday, we should have a video going up. And on Saturday, I should have a video going up. And I should have another plan with me drop on Sunday. Now, if I ever get 
a little overwhelmed and I start running behind on video scheduling or whatnot, this plan with me is going to be the one that I drop on the week if it's one of those weeks where I'm just really kind of overwhelmed. Let's see, Saturday is also a first quarter moon. This is why I left myself two lines, just so I could at least put two things on any given day up here that were those indicators. And then I want to put a quote for the week, and I'm going to put that here in this spot, which is like 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Because it's 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., best just trying to get out the door and get to work. I'm going to go ahead and write that in. Okay, and that quote is, at our most elemental, we are not a chemical reaction, but an energetic charge. And that is from Lynn McTaggart in a book called The Field. All right, dropping all the way down, since I don't have a whole lot of meetings in my work week, which is honestly really weird to see. I'm going to jump down to putting in my dinners and then leaving space for what I am reading and watching. So I had that over here last week. And I have my deliveries down here. I think I'm going to put deliveries up here and what I'm reading and watching down here. And then we're going to do a to-do list over here, but we're going to change it up from what I have done the last couple of weeks. I have been doing like a dots and beyond to-do list and then like a domestic shit to-do list. And I think I'm actually going to put elemental to-do lists. If you missed that video where I discussed my elemental life operating system, it was last Wednesday. I will link that for you. I don't know why I've never thought about doing my to-do list based on elements, but that's what I'm going to try to do and see if that works for me. So dinners, let's see, I'm going to grab a ruler and just leave myself two squares. And again, I've stopped putting the dinners on the weekend because you just never know what's going to happen on those weekend days. And I think on Monday will be a day that we cook a HelloFresh. Ditto for Tuesday. Ditto for Thursday. And then I can actually put what the meal is up in here. And then like I said, I want to track what I am reading and watching and maybe just general reminders. How much space do I have? And you know, normally when you're reading a book or when you're watching a show, it takes multiple days and I can kind of indicate those things that are happening on those specific days. And then over here, we'll put deliveries. And one of the reasons that I'm moving them here is we had a couple of them last week with Amazon or whatnot that were, oh, your order is delayed. And so the day that you thought it was gonna come on is no longer the day that it's coming on, that kind of a thing. So this, just put them on a list for the week. And when you get them, you get them, you can mark them off. This is gonna be very light, but I am gonna kind of do every other line over here to indicate those. And then one of the other things that I did last week is that I, kept bumping our Walmart order because we just didn't really feel like we needed it and we just got a Walmart order today on Saturday the 14th so there's my Walmart order crossed it off from here um, moved it there and so I won't have a Walmart order on Monday because I just got one well, we'll just go old school bullet journal dot and I can cross them off. And we don't normally get this many deliveries in a week. There's always typically a Walmart order. I really have written all over myself today. There's typically a Walmart order. There's typically a HelloFresh order. Maybe one Amazon during the week, depending on what I need. 
Um, we're starting to creep into the holiday season and gift orders are starting to go because I do like to spread them out. I don't want to get them, you know, and be broke at the end of December. So we're starting to get a few more deliveries than we would normally have. I'm going to go ahead and put HelloFresh on here. All right, and then over here and do lists for the elements and I have five of those. We're gonna do one, two. We're just gonna guess. And those are earth or terra, air, fire or ignis, water or aqua, and spirit which is aether this is my home and hearth domain this is my career and creativity domain my relationships domain health and wellness and spirit and it surprises me that i haven't thought about putting these on separate to-do lists before because that can help me balance my week to make sure that i'm trying to give as much attention to each one of these domains in order to keep things in balance. And again, I'm just going to make some bullet points. Okay, I do know that Kenny's got some deliveries coming. We do, that's one of the few things on our calendar that we do tend to cross reference. Because I work from home on Tuesdays and Fridays, that's what I need to put in here. And then he opens at Starbucks, so very many afternoons he's home if he's not out running other errands and things. We kind of know who's going to be home to get those deliveries because we do live in an apartment. We don't always trust our neighbors. I did mess that up and put remote here on Thursday when I am not remote. I am in the office. I am going to fix that just for my own peace of mind with one of these sticker sheets that comes with the Loistrum or the bullet journal which is a Loistrum brand, so that the paper matches. Because I do have some white stickers that I could put across it from leftover sticker paper, but I would rather that it match a little bit better. I think I'm going to put another black line here underneath this washi tape because this one looks a little lost, like we don't know what's supposed to be in that spot. So that I can write in my meals in that area. Okay, and the only thing we have left to do is see if any of our witchy stickers will fit in any of these places. I love these little stickers that are like the cabinet with the apothecary in it. We're gonna stick a you here, my poor little frog in his cloak got bent. We're gonna stick a few here on the work week just because. And because there's so much space in here, I might just come in and write a blurb for the day about how my work day went as opposed to more personal things so on today like this is yesterday this is a dream summary <laughs> i mean this, that was the one thing that i wanted to document yesterday was this dream summary uh it, because it was bizarre this is where i am today so these are the the more personal things i do put some work things in here from time to time but i don't put a lot in here and so maybe i can just start putting in you know, just a blurb on each workday on how I feel like that workday went. I'm going to look at some of my gold stickers and see if I want to fit any in here. The thing about the gold stickers is that many of them are very sizable. Like these moons, like I have this whole set of moons, which you probably can't see very well because of the ring light. And so it's not as easy to find things to stick in and around. I'm also going to put another reminder up here because I'm struggling to remember it. And that is the 
hormone replacement therapy patch that I need to change twice a week. I am remembering it. It just hasn't been the easiest. I think I'm going to cut this little moon and its stars out from this one. And stick that right down. All right, so there is my weekly setup for week 43, which is October 16th through the 22nd. Tell me... If you use a weekly, what do you do for your work hours? Are you actually tracking your work if you have a day job and a, you know, and side hustles and home and all of that sort of thing? Would you fill this space with stickers? Um, would you fill this space with maybe media reminders? Like when a new album is going to drop from an artist you love or a new TV show is going to start? Would you plug them in here as well? Or would you put in a to-do list? How would you use this space? That's normally your work hours on your weekly setup if it's just kind of looking empty and forlorn. And let's go ahead and flip back to October so that y'all can see I am filling in these October specific trackers that I created for myself, as well as bills and recurring things that pop in. That is my brain dump page. And then my dailies and then back here we have my steps sleep and water tracker which is coming together right here it's not the neatest thing in the world but it's working for me and i can see where those things fall every time you see one of these steps completely plummet those are like on my work from home days because i'm not getting out and getting the steps that I get when I'm in the office because I work in a very large facility and I can just go out and like take laps around the facility. And I don't do that when I'm at home. Like I don't leave my apartment and go get some steps in and I need to really start getting that done. Um, so definitely that trend is there. Um, same with water. I drink more water when I'm at work than I do when I'm not at work, which is crazy. But that is it for October week 43 if you like this video and you want me to keep doing these plan with me's you guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you like the video give it a big thumbs up it would really help me out and subscribe if you haven't already i will see you in the next one